Hello everyone, Lady De Winter here and today we're in Rising World and this time we have someone with us. Yay! Yeah, somewhere around here is, oh, it fell into the water. Oh, that's going to be cute, retrieving. At least I'll be able to find the saplings this time. It fell into the pond here, so yeah, I hope I can get out of the pond. Uh, and there's no saplings, so yeah. Uh, yeah, there, I was able to get out of the pond. I don't see saplings. We didn't get any saplings from that tree. That sucked. There well, was a couple of times I didn't get any either. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, since I had to swim for them, I figured I should at least be rewarded with some, you know, saplings since I had yeah, to swim. But anyway, we are beginning to build the barn. Now, that is going to be built on Beth's little homestead over here. Although I may eventually put in a little stable if he does, if Red does put in horses, I might want to put in a little stable over by my place just so I have some place for the horses. Now, come on, really? Really? That's the second tree with no saplings? Um, that is not good. It is not healthy and it is not happy. Okay, my tree fell this way. So where are my saplings? Nowhere to be found. You go away. I don't like you. Nowhere to be found is my saplings. Well, that sucks again. There was a glitch after one of the updates uh, and some work that Red had done on the game. The glitch uh -huh. was uh, that there was the trees were not dropping saplings. So I'm hoping we're not facing that glitch again because I really do need the saplings so I can... I'm going to come up here and this way I'll be able to see. Yeah, there's the saplings. Now I see them. Okay, there. I got some saplings. Yes. Okay. I got plenty of um, saplings over here. Okay, yeah. I've got a bunch too. I just like to make sure that we can always replenish our supply of wood. You know what I mean? And I find out that if you go halfway up the trunk when you start chopping the tree up into logs, uh -huh. you can actually get the saplings because you'll see where they fall. Except in if, unless you've got a great big uh, fern in your way. Yeah. So, okay. Now there's my logs. That's about the only way I can find saplings anymore, is by doing it that way. I just have to climb halfway up the trunk of the tree to cut the tree up in pieces. So, I wanted to thank everybody who showed up at the stream the other day. I really enjoyed that stream. There was a lot of interaction from people, and we, I just really, really enjoyed that. That was It made the stream great for me. Um, all the help digging the pathway that I did got was really awesome really enjoyed that so thank you everyone who showed up for the sunday stream y'all are awesome yes very much so oh look here's that pool again watch this tree fall into it that would be my kind of luck <coughs> my kind of luck i'm gonna have to go swimming for logs again Yep, right in the right in the water. Right in the water. Okay, give me my saplings. Give me my saplings before I drown. Okay. There we go. We got our our logs and our saplings and stuff, so So anyway, viewers, um like I said, Beth is starting to build a barn. Um, she is planning to build it right here next to her house. Would you like me to smooth this out a little bit for you? Well, that's what I'm working on. Oh, okay. Got to get rid of all these hills. I could do it the cheaty way, you know. Well, that's entirely up to you. Since you are the admin and you have access to the cheaty ways. I am. I have no access to cheaty ways at all. I'm doing this through the magic. I'm yeah. magical. Uh -huh. See, see, I'm just magical. Right. Mm -hmm. 
says her. I am a magic person. I wave my little wand and it goes flat because I told it to. See, 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 I'm that awesome. I'll keep flattening there. Yeah, because I don't keep think the I don't think the viewers are gonna buy that either, to be honest, Beth. I'll tell you what though, all this mousing lately is really starting to bother my hands and arms. Do you ever have that problem? Yes. Oh good, so I'm not alone in that one. No. We're just like the rest of us mere mor mortals. Well, I don't want to be a mere mortal. I want to be a magical well, being. Yes. I want to be a magical being. My, my granddaughter wants to be a ninja too, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen. Well, yeah, she could become a ninja. I mean, they, they've got karate dojos and stuff where she can learn ninjutsu, so, you know. Or the way she says it, I'm a ninja. Oh. An ninja? Okay. Ma ninja. Ma ninja? Which Ma one ninja. is this, Riley or uh, Rosie? Hey. Oh my god. What are those parents teaching that child? She should want to be a cook or a nurse or a tea. No, I'm only kidding. I'm kidding, viewers. I'm kidding. Don't go on your feminist thing with me. I'm kidding. I was going to say, I was going to have to hurt her there. For me. Okay, that should be. Is that good? Yeah. I found a place that needs flattening. There we go. Now, let me stand back and look at the handiwork. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. That's I think that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. I think that's pretty good. There we go. Nice and flat yeah. and pretty. Once again, I have oh. to thank Elspeth Gaming and Carol Hands-On. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce her name for the uh, tips and tricks on doing this. Yay, you guys. You have really helped us quite a bit, and you didn't probably even mean to. Who knows? So, now I am going to go back to regular game, which is game mode zero. And all you do is you hit that little squiggly thing. It's called a tilde. Right above your tab key, and you'll get your console. And you type in game mode one and you're in creative. For those of you who don't know or have never done it before, that's how easy it is. And now Beth is raking her table. She is raking her uh, crafting table, which I yep. find funny. And it's a beautiful foggy day in Rising World Land. Yes. And I guess we're eventually going to have to name our little town, Beth, if we're going to have other people on here building towns. So. Um. Well, what in the world do you want to name it? I have no clue. How about what in the world do you want to name No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that and I'll come up with something and we'll, we'll throw it about little by little there. Okay. Because I haven't a clue, but if we get other people on here, um, we're probably going to need to... Oh, by the way, how much wood did you get? I've got a bunch of wood. Hold on. Let me put the wood in your chest, and then you can use it. I have like 30 pieces of wood there, so and seven saplings. So I'm going to go replant some trees now so that we have them when we need them. I'm out here foresting this area, and I keep moving it a little bit further away from the base each time. Oh, I do not want to have to go into that cave for my wood. So, no, we're not going to plant over there. Where will we plant our trees? We will plant our trees over here. Here, Carrot, you need some shade. Okay. Okay, we are now out of saplings, so yeah. So there we go. Wow, weird, weird terrain over there. So we have a virtual jungle over here. I mean, you know, of trees and stuff. So I 
And there's Beth building her stable. Now I don't think you can do much with the wooden, with the stone blocks or the wood blocks, but like window frames and wood beams and stuff, you can actually use the F1 key to get into the uh, building menu and you can resize all that stuff. You can make it fatter or skinnier or taller or shorter and right. all that stuff. So, oh, my alarm is going off. That's telling me, viewers, I need to take my medicine. But I'm not going to do it in the middle of a video. So we will wait until after the video. Yeah, you're not going to do it in the middle of Well. All right. And we're back. I did go and take my medicine because Beth would not let me live it down. So. Let her be a numb nut. Yes. So she, she did her motherly bitching thing. And I went and took my medicine, so. It's so nice to be loved, you know it? <laughs> because too often I put it off, and like Sunday, I put it off during the stream and um, didn't take it, so, yeah. Oh, my, and my coffee is, my coffee reserves is getting low. Uh, well, now that's, a, you gotta take time to get some more coffee. Yes, that's why I'm going to keep the uh, camera on you, Beth, and I'm going to go make another cup of coffee. Oh, lovely. And we're back, viewers. Thanks for sticking around. That was a short pause. It wasn't that long of a pause, but I did pause the video to make coffee. And while I was making that coffee, my parakeets went a little ape shit. The reason being, there was a big, beautiful Cooper's hawk sitting on the tree branch outside the window, deciding whether it could get them or not. Of course, it couldn't because there's a glass window and a, a window shade between them and him, but he was beautiful to look at. Yes, we have all kinds of critters like that around here. We've seen turkey vultures on the way down 41 the other day. Something big died down there. Because there were several turkey vultures. So. And she's still working on her little workbench. Let's go see what progress she made. Oh, she's got it almost done here. Look at this. And from the size of it, I'm assuming she's going to have maybe three to four stalls on each wall. Now, I'm figuring using the uh, mechanics for the building, Beth will be much better at this than I am. She's really good with this kind of stuff. That's why I wanted her to know about the F1 and the being able to resize things. Because she's pretty good at that kind of stuff, and I'm kind of sucky at it. So, my trees haven't grown yet. Although my one tree is getting kind of big. The cherry tree is growing. The cherry tree is growing. The lemon tree is not growing. It's like sitting there. It's not liking me. So is the apple trees. The apple trees are just sitting there too. They're a little bit bigger, but not much. I don't think the lemon tree's grown at all. Has it grown? I don't know. I do, it doesn't look like it's grown one bit. So I don't know. Maybe it takes longer for a lemon tree to grow. I don't have any redwood. Uh, yeah, there's red, well, you can make it red wood. It's, it's very red. Just, uh, okay, when you're doing, you know when you're in your wood menu there, mm -hmm. um, there's two little arrows on either side of your block in the picture. If you right. hit those little arrows, you'll get other kinds of wood. There's a red colored wood deep in there. You just have to find it. Yeah, but I'm looking at the blocks, and there's no... I mean, it gives me different shapes, but it doesn't give me... Okay, 
Hold on. Are you looking at wood blocks? Yeah. Okay, let's see. If you scroll down um, using that little bottom arrow in your list of yeah. wood block types, there's a red wood there right above a white wood. Yeah, that's about as red as it. Yeah. Well, there's also a red block that looks like it's uh, cut into four if you go down even further. And then there's a cork looking stuff. So, but that's about as red as you're going to get, Beth. Now, if you want to do wood planks, there's also wood planks that are red. Red-ish. Yeah. Red-ish. Yeah, red-ish. So, they're just not as reddish and pretty as some of the other reds in the other woods. So, so, but yeah, I think uh, red will be adding some new blocks and stuff too, because so many people love the building aspect of the game. But, you know, I also try to keep in mind that it's a one man team. You know, and he does miraculous things with the game. And when he does an update, he does it right. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I certainly am not. Um, I'm waiting. I'm betting he's going to introduce paint eventually, too. Because this is such a building game. Everybody builds in this game. And I'm betting he eventually adds paints. I mean, we've got the ability to make yellow and white out of these flowers and blue and orange. So I think it's just a matter of time. And the purple flowers I have outside my house, I spawned in in uh, creative. So they're not part of the game normally. They're part of the creative menu. I threw them in there because they were pretty. I liked the color. And the whole video is going to be watching Beth stand at her. Oh, there she goes. Look at her. Look at her. She's experimenting with the, the menu now. Yeah, I'm looking at the different colors and... and Sizes like, and stuff, yeah. Look at the barn and... Yay! Yeah. See, what I knew. Color and... I knew if I introduced her to that menu, she she'd become um, engrossed with it. I think I'm going to go get the sickle and cut a little bit more of this grass. We really don't need all that grass around those trees. And it's not like you know, the grass doesn't really add anything. In fact, it makes it more difficult. So I'll get rid of some more of that grass. I'm not a big one for tall grass anyway, folks, because there's ticks and stuff that hides in it, so, you know. Okay, let me try that. Worst case scenario, i got to take it down and... Use your sledgehammer. You can take those down with a sledgehammer, yeah. usually. Now, see, she's got the idea. Look at that. Look at that. She's got... There's also, if you hit G, there's a grid you can use, and you can resize the grid up and down. That I do not know how to do. So, I've never resized the grid. But it's still pretty cool. That's how I made these lamp posts using that. So... Using the grid? Uh, no, using the uh, resizing. Because those are two two normal size wooden beams. And I had to shrink one down to hang the lantern off of. So, Look at her. Look at her. She's just, she's just learning. So I'm so proud of her. I am so proud of her viewers. She's just learning away. Look at her. 
and you can stack the beams on top of each other and do all kinds of miraculous things. That's why I keep telling you you need to watch like Radio Man and Elspeth, although Elspeth builds pretty much in the creative menu all the time. Radio, Radio Man 03 does not constantly use the creative menu. He uh, builds basically just building. He makes some really amazing things. That bridge of his across that lake is just amazing. When he started building that, I thought he was a little crazy. But now that I see the finished bridge, I'm thinking, wow, that is really just awesomely, amazingly beautiful. And now he's building that awesome house, which it looks really good. So, yeah. And I have to figure out how I'm going to enclose this in. Probably just going to do stone across. Means I'm going to have to go dig a bunch more stone. But I think I'm going to start from like right here. And go all the way across with stone. And just close this in completely and put a little mining workshop down there. So, yeah. So, anyway, viewers, that's plans for that, and that will come to be eventually. I'm kind of waiting until he puts some uh, hostile mobs in before I do that. Look at her, look at her. She's just building away. Wow. And when she builds, she goes intricate. Look at this. Look at this. She's using wooden beams for this. Or is she using boards? You're using boards, aren't you? Yeah, she's using boards. Mm -hmm. Cool. Look at her. Look at her just building away. I'm impressed, Beth. Yeah, on my single player game, I use boards for my house. Yeah. It's a like a whitewashed house. Yeah. Well, I didn't know you knew how to use the uh, um, resizing menu. Or are you not? Well, I'm not. I, I'm oh, not. Okay, okay. Um, you can make those longer or shorter or whatever you want with that stuff, you know. Yeah. Usually I put the boards up and then if I want to put windows in or yeah. whatever, um, then I'll go back and, and take out a few boards. Yeah. Maybe resize them that way. Well, I don't know when he's going to add it, but I know he plans on adding um, the ability to, like, tame cows and chickens. Now, Elspeth went ahead and spawned in her chickens and cows from her creative menu. So, right. she has a full working farm already. Oh, look at this. She put a little chair in her garden. How cute. A little chair in her garden. Isn't that adorable? Yeah, I put a little chair out front, a little chair. Is there a little chair out front? Oh, yes. Look at that. A little chair for sitting. You need a porch for that, though, you know. Oh, not really. I might eventually do a porch off the front of my house. I haven't decided. Now, while, I'm, while you're doing that, I want to do something with my map. I want to see just how difficult it's going to be to do this snow biome that I was at that time. Uh, maybe that's not the direction I went. Um, hmm. Oh, okay. It's not showing the direction I went to the snow biome now, is it? No, it's only showing the direction I went to the... the desert biome. Hmm, that's weird. That is, oh wait a minute, maybe it's out this way, duh. 
Duh, I think I'm screwing up here. Where's my house? Okay, I think my, sn yeah, my snow biome is out this way. Okay, yeah. I was going the wrong direction. Um, yeah, my map has decided to make itself smaller. Because I know I had a snow biome out here somewhere. Um, maybe it's the, maybe I'm still going the wrong direction. That could well be. Yes, it looks like I was. Yes, here's my snow biome. Okay, so how hard would it be to make a road from my base to this lovely, luscious, oh, the map is really lagging badly, to this luscious snow biome? Not that hard, actually. Not that hard. Hmm. We have to go through some mountains. Or some hills or rock something. But yeah, it wouldn't be that hard. So that might wind up being one of my next streams, yours, where I make a, uh, a map to the snow biome from my base. And see, here's the weird thing. It's not showing Beth's build at all. Oh, yes, it is. It is showing Beth's build. There we go. Wow, it's actually showing your barn as you're building it, Beth. Huh? That's pretty That's pretty cool. Oh, no, that's not right. So, yeah. Okay, well, that's pretty awesome. That was... But, yeah, we may do a pathway to the snow biome next. Because if we want snowmen for Christmas, you know... Did you hit F1 to resize it? Well, when I hit F1, I get a bunch of... Um... Instructions. Yeah. And but it should show you how to resize... Um, the, the beams. R... Do you have any of those beams in your chest over there? I can tell you which ones will do it if I had a beam. I need to see the thing. Because F1 doesn't do anything unless I'm holding something yeah, that I'm I sure need to resize. something over there, but I don't think the beams resize. Yeah, they do, sweetie. I've resized them many a times myself. Um, no, I Let me see. Um, wood beam. Okay. I'm just going to make one. Oh, I need lumber. Oh, for God's sake. That is annoying. Lumber. Okay, there I made 16 lumber. Now I'm going to resize a beam. Um, construction wood beam. Okay, now let's get my wood beam in my inventory here. And here's my wood beam. Okay. Now, let me get the beam in my hand, and I will help you recycle. Not my... Okay, here we go. Now, F1 is what I need to do. Okay, um, if you want to make it smaller, you hold shift your right shift button and um, your arrow keys. Uh, if you want it smaller, you'll want to hit hold your right shift key, Okay. And, no, that makes it wider. Okay. Okay. See? Okay. Now, okay. do your arrow keys. Uh -huh. There you go. Okay. There, there you go. See? Okay. I got it. Got it. Yay! And I'll put your wood in your, sh your wood beam back in your wood chest. Nice. And your lumber. So there. So okay. Now you yeah, see how it's done. I told you, viewers. Once we get her doing this, she's gonna be unstoppable. 
She will. She builds three times better than I ever did. And that's another reason, folks, why I wanted a... Oh my God, this video is 30 minutes long. Oops. Okay, I'm going to end the video here, viewers. Thanks for watching. This is Lady DeWinter and Unknown Ego reminding you that you're never too old to game. Bye-bye mm -hmm. for now.